Hazrat Anas radiallahu anhu says, I was present on the occasion of wedding banquet of Hazrat Safiya radiallahu anha. He sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam satiated the people with bread and meat. He sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam would dispatch me to invite the people. When he sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam got free, he sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam stood up and I followed him. After the feast, two men did not depart and were deeply engrossed in discussion. He visited his wives and said to each of them, Assalamu alaikum, or the people of the house, how are you? They would submit, O oh Allah's apostle, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, fine. How is she? He sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam said, she is nice. After getting free, when he sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam returned, I also returned along with him. When he sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam reached the door, he sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam saw that they were still engaged in chatting. When they saw that he sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has returned, they got up to make an exit. By Allah Jalla Jalaluhu, I do not remember whether I notified him of their departure or he sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam knew it through revelation that they had gone. He sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam returned and I as well returned along with him. When he sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam stepped on the threshold of the door, he sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam drew a curtain between me and him. Then this verse was revealed to him. Translation O believers, enter not the house of the Prophet unless you get permission. The Confederates, verse 53. Sahih Muslim, Hadith number 3486.